Welcome to Super Single Slide Sessions, where we look at software testing aspects and pack it into a single slide. It is the year 2021. Any reference to the year 2021 back in the 1900s would have evoked images of futuristic space age, flying cars and transmogrifiers. Here's something that has persistently bothered me ever since I have been in testing. Smart people have contributed to testing theory, yet almost everyone seems to ignore their insight. Now, let me read some insights from a, a testing book. So, I have a book here. Um, there is an incorrect definition of testing, that is, the assumption that testing is the process of showing that the program functions correctly. Hmm? Yeah. Less seems to be known about software testing than about any other aspect of software development. Since exhaustive testing is out of the question, the objective should be to maximize the yield on the testing investment. Yeah, makes sense. There is a natural tendency when testing a program to concentrate on the valid and expected conditions at the neglect of the invalid and unexpected conditions. Yes, I've seen that a lot in projects. Now, another one. Programs must be examined for unwanted side effects. I agree. It is difficult to present the cookbook for boundary value analysis since it requires a degree of creativity and a certain amount of specialization towards the problem at hand. Well, tell that to the certification crowd. A software error is present when the program does not do what its end user reasonably expects it to do. Yeah. The major mistake made in planning a testing process is the tacit assumption made when planning a schedule that no errors will be found. Sounds familiar, right? Now, one last example I want to read from the book directly. So, here we go. Given the large amount of money expended testing programs, literally billions of dollars per year, one would expect that many controlled experiments would have been performed to identify the most effective tools, methodologies, types of personnel, and so on. However, quite the opposite is the case. Only a handful of experiments have appeared in literature. Yes, that is certainly true. Um, so, there's one more thing. All the quotes that I have mentioned here, um, they come from Glenford Meyer's book, who wrote his book, The Art of Software Testing, back in 1979. So, this book, we have ignored many of his and other people's insight for the past many decades. I think we can do better. Thank you for your attention, stay healthy and have a successful day.